。好，廿七條咧就係講翻 lock and key hypothesis 視約學説，就係攞嚟咧去理解翻 M 曬嘅一啲特性嘅。咁 M 曬有咩特性咧？呢度間曬俾大家睇啦，咩生物催化劑啊 ，M 曬好專一啊 ，M 曬係攞 protein 整啊 ，M 曬可以循環再用啊，少少嘅 M 曬已經好足夠啊。咁 A、B、C、D 其實中曬嘅，一定有嘅。咁但係啦，作為 lock and key hypothesis 咧，其實佢係想去示範得到，原來咧。M 曬係一個好專一嘅特性，佢淨係同翻一啲特定嘅形狀嘅受質咧，先可以合得埋一齊嘅。咁有好多我同學誤會咗嘅咧，就會誤會咗係 D 咯。哦 ，M 曬咧少少就已經夠噶啦，因為咧佢哋會覺得咧 ，lock and key hypothesis 咧係可以理解到 M 曬攞嚟 reusable。嗱，當然啦，呢個概念係講緊啊 ，M 曬做完反應之後咧係不變嘅。嗱，呢個係正確嘅。但係 lock and key hypothesis 就並不是嚟解釋俾你聽，原來 M 曬做完反應之後係不變。嗱，作為一條鎖匙，佢開完個鎖，條鎖匙真係唔變嘅，啱嘅。但係 lock and key hypothesis 唔係想講呢一樣嘢，係因為 lock and key hypothesis 都係好專一地，淨係講 M 曬專一呢個特性啫。Question twenty seven is about the lock and key hypothesis, which is a scientific model to explain the M 曬 properties. So let's take a look at the properties of the M 曬 They can act as the biological catalyst. Actions of M cells are very specific. M cells are made up of protein. M cells are reusable. M cells are needed in a relatively small amount. So you can see that for option A, B, C, D, they are really the property of the M cells. But in this question, we focus on the lock and key hypothesis. It's talking about a key of specific shape fits only one lock. So similarly, an M cell with an active site of a specific shape binds to only a particular types of substrate. So that's why it's a way to explain that M cells are specific in action. But some student they may choose option D because they think that the M cells are reusable. So from the lock and key hypothesis, for the key after we use the key to open the lock and the key doesn't change at all. So that's why the key can be used to open another lock again. And then M cells are needed in a relative small amount because the M cells they are reusable. However, the lock and key hypothesis itself is also very specific to describe the actions of the M cells are specific.